right, everybody. Look at these split comedy. We're here Sunday night. I'm sitting here chilling with my man, the one and only, Rick Roboten. What's going on with you, baby? Not much. Not much, Ray, for the show. Let's go get a little high and a little not drunk, but we'll see. You've been working on some new shit? I heard I heard, I heard a couple jokes. I, I was in a tournament with you yeah, yeah. a few weeks ago. I mean, I was, you know, I was laughing was a little bit. <laughs> that, that, was, that was interesting, I, right? I, uh, I remember being eliminated the first round. Uh, then after that, it was my first night here. So, so after, okay, so after that, then when you started to pretty much uh, go back to doing blow and, and after the depressing loss in the first round? Nah, I, I haven't done blow in a while. Um, I miss it a little bit. I could probably use it, but if anybody could hook me up, I wouldn't have that problem. There you have it, folks. You heard it here first. Rick Roboten is looking for anybody who has blow. Who's, you, anybody. Raise your hand. Anybody, or or, or, or that you have it, or we'll blow him. Either way, either way. Aren't you supposed to blow Dave Remiano? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I heard. I'm not gonna tell the story. It's not my story. Oh, yeah. So who's gonna tell the story? Is it a story? A good story? You want, you want to tell it? I let him tell it. He can tell. He can tell it. Oh man. I'm not the one who owes Dave Premiano a blowjob. That's all. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like I said, man, you. I mean, if you have to blow a guy, at least you want it to be someone you know. <laughs> there you have it. Um, uh, I want to apologize to anybody who's even watching this shit. <laughs> first and sorry, foremost. First and foremost. <laughs> Talking about blowing and doing blow while blowing. All right, so uh, back to you, Rick. Anything coming up, man? Anything like uh, yeah? You know? uh, me and my uh, good buddy Darren Martinez, we're gonna be on uh, the Tim Sexton show this Thursday night at uh, 7 p.m. Cool. And then, uh, we're doing that to promote our show at the Northeast Comedy Cabaret uh, this Saturday. Uh, the uh, Gutbusters Comedy Show. Omar Scruggs is on that. Uh, Matt Reese and Andy Julia. The Founder of Mixed Nuts, the guy you got me and Darren the, the uh, spot on. You hear that, folks? He's going to have Omar Scruggs. They're actually going to have a black guy on the show. And the Clap it up for black guys yeah. being on the show. And, and a Puerto Rican. And, and, a, and a Puerto Rican. God damn it. This is a holiday. It's literally a holiday. So there you have it, folks. My man Rick Roboten, and he's going to do a little set tonight here at our spot. Lickety Split Comedy. This is what we do every Sunday night. 9.30 p.m., 4th and South, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I don't know the zip code. Fuck it. Who cares? Anyway, this is us. Thanks, Rick. No problem. Appreciate Thank you. you. Yep. All right, y'all. You watching CUTV with your boy Jamil B. Once again, we're here Sunday night, Lickety Split Comedy, 4th and South, Philadelphia, PA. I'm here with my, uh, my newfound comedian friend here at Lickety Split. Darren, a.k.a. I don't know where he came from, Martinez. What's going on with you, man? What's up, what's up, man? I'm uh, Darren Martinez, the only Puerto Rican in Philly doing comedy right now, I think. That's, that's a bold-faced fucking lie. That's a, that's a bold-faced fucking lie if I ever heard it. But nah, uh, that's what's up, man. It's good to see a lot of... Oh, I didn't tell you my... Me, I, I got Puerto Rican roots. Right. Mi abuelo. Mi abuelo es Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. See, see, not, not everybody's perfect. Yeah, that's, right. that's what I'm saying. That's what I said. That's what I tell myself every morning when I get the fuck up and look in the mirror. But nah. So, uh, how long you been doing comedy? Uh, about ten months. ten months. Okay, so you you pretty you pretty much know you know the ins and outs of, of the stage and whatnot. You are just working on new shit, trying to get yourself together. So, uh, what, what kind of what kind of comic are you? Like, what would you say you you would be categorized as? Um, well, I do like a lot of racial stuff, a lot of observational, topical. I mean, I like to I like to tell quick jokes. Like, if I get five minutes, I try to hit him with, like, 15 to 20 real quick. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's what I do. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I can't wait to hear your shit. Um, I can't really vouch for him right now because I never heard him before, but I'm assuming he's funny. He looks funny. I mean, look at his fucking head. Like, I mean, who, who cannot be funny with a head like that? Like, that's a six head. That's a six head. That's patented right there. Yeah, look at this joint coming. Yeah, all right, so uh, stay on track, man. Stop looking away, man. <laughs> <laughs> we outside, man. Look at these split comedy Sunday nights. See you TV. You watch the CU TV with your boy Jamil B. If we don't see you, they won't see you. Now, who you looking at? <laughs> <laughs>
take it one time, man. Give them, give them all your info. Let them know where you where, where they can find you at. You know what I'm saying? Where they can hit you up at if you want to do that and just run out and give them a whole drop. Uh, yeah, look me up on Facebook, Darren Martinez, D-A-R-I-N, Martinez. If you don't know how to spell that, I can't help you with that. Other than that, you can look me up at uh, Comedy Cabaret, any one of them. I'm always there, regular there. So That's it. Hit me up. I only got like 120 friends, so, you know. That's crazy. I got you. I'm going to hit it up right now. I'm going to pass off and hit you up right now. There you have it, y'all. Darren Martinez, new up-and-coming comedian. Be doing comedy for 10 months. He look like he's funny, man. I'm waiting to see him. You watch the CU TV. All right, y'all. You watching CU TV? It's your boy Jamil B. We out here in front of Lickety Split Sunday Night Comedy. I got a new face on the scene. I don't really know him. I'm gonna let him introduce himself, and uh, we're gonna just take Eric Yellowitz, and uh, this is my faggy cohort, Dan Eastman. Yeah, for those of you who don't know Dan, a lot of you know Dan. But he's the asshole with the big ears. You'll see him later. I'll probably bring yeah. him on if I, you know, give him a fuck. But anyway, it's about, fly, it's about him right away. now. It's about my man right here right now. What's going on? Nothing, man. Uh, first time here. I was uh, happy I ran into you guys. I do shit all over the area. But uh, I'm excited to do the show. I hear it's, uh, I hear it's a good show. So, so, so I hear you're from Jersey. Is that, is that true? I am from Jersey, but I work with a group out around here, uh, Comedy 215. We uh, do shit all over the area. We run shows in Jersey, we run shows in Philly. Uh, actually, um, a couple of our founding members, uh, Jim McCauley, Steve O'Brien, and Chris Smith, are going to be doing shows at Harris Casino. And I'm kind of excited. Which one? Yeah. The new one? The new one, yeah, and in AC, and possibly Vegas. Yeah, come oh, That's cool. Damn, that's what's up. So, Alright, keep going. I don't want to fuck you up. Nothing. You ain't fuck me up. I like your beard. Oh, that, that is. <laughs> did, get, did it just get a little gay in here? Secure, it just got real weird. In here. It just got real in here. <laughs> it did just get real. All we need now is the, uh, this is a whole the R. Kelly video song. Now. It is a whole new My mind's telling me no. <laughs> Put your body. <laughs> Send me yes. What was the name of that movie? What was the name of that In movie? words of my fellow comic, Craig Haas, you know, I would love to do a black dude because why go half ass in those games? But you have it. Yeah, right. You're here live with CU TV with the gayest interview I've ever had in my life. Um, and my time. pants are on. Give them, give them all your info. Let them know where they can find you. Let them know what's going on with you. And just give a whole, do a whole drop real quick. All right, my name is Eric Yellowitz from Comedy 215. You can look me up on Facebook. That's Yellowitz, Y-E-L-O-W-I-T-Z. You can hit me up anytime there. Check us out, Comedy 215. Uh, we work all the time with Mr. Darren Martinez, Mr. Rick Rabot. Uh, headline status, Chris Smith, uh, Big Jim McCauley, Stephen Bryan, the whitest black guy I know. Wears blazers all the time. He's probably wearing a blazer right now, wherever he is. <laughs> Check us out. There you have it. <laughs> you watch the <laughs> TV. He was just rambling, man. I was going to sleep. You told me to go nuts. I'm just looking at this going walk by. Tell you have it though. Uh, CU TV, take me out. Watching you hey, watch Jamil B. I'm doing? drunk and stoned. Right? He's drunk and stoned, but his personality is making me like feel like an idiot because I'm not even paying attention. But I wear a helmet. Wake up, Jamil. Wake the fuck up. All right, bro. Uh, there man. you have it. So, uh, like I said, you watch CU TV. Clickety Split Comedy Sunday nights, 9.30, every Sunday night, this is where we at. Bring your family, bring your face, bring new... Bring your big spoons, bring, bring your, your little spoons. Bring your big spoons, bring your, your, yeah. your paddle, because we are right now without the paddle. Um, oh, what you did there, I see it. And I'm taking you out.